hello everyone this is Raheel and uh, I'm going to go over a uh, few steps on how to create the universe using information design tool so before I start uh, let me tell you that we have this new uh, tool available in business object 4.0 as we can see in 4.0 client tool I have a universe design tool and information design tool and we can use both to create the universe but uh, there is a difference in both that in information design tool we have some new features and one of them is a multi-source uh, universe feature that we can use to create multi-source universe uh, from different data, data source like SQL, we can use SQL, we can use Oracle or BW at the same time and then on the front end we can just create one single universe. Anyway, uh, I am going to create a universe on IDT so first I need to create an ODBC connection. So I just go ahead and create an ODBC connection. I will use SQL Server 2005. I name it IDT equal and then I will use a demo with my server okay I need to select my database and I will, I will select not print and then I will select go ahead and test my data source and it's successful okay okay so the next step is I just go ahead and create a universe using information design tool okay so I will use information design tool since I have the information design tool is already open so I just go here okay the first step is to create the project the local project since these three projects are already created so i'm going to uh, create the universe from the scratch so i just go ahead create a new project so i just go to new and project click on project okay and i will just use the same name as uh, in odbc so was idt Finish. Okay, I have created this uh, data uh, local project. Now the next step is to create the connection. So I just go ahead and create new relational connection. So I'll just say IDT on SQL. Next, I will use Microsoft SQL Server 2005. Next, next, finish. Okay, so I have created this new connection. Now, on the next step is to publish this connection to repository. So I just go ahead and publish this connection so that we can have a secure connection. Okay, and once it get published, we can see the secure uh, connection icon here. So I just go ahead select here finish okay now it's asking me if I want to create a shortcut yes so finish so you can see here dot cns is the secure connection and dot cnx is the local so I will use cns the secure connection okay next step is to create the data foundation so I just go ahead select new and data foundation data foundation I will use same name IDT on equal and I will select a single source as I mentioned earlier that we have this option that we can use either multi source option to create multi source universe or single source. So I will just create single source and here I can select the secure connection finish. Okay, as you can see that we have all the tables here. So I just go ahead, drag some tables. 
product table, order table, and order detail. Okay, let's go ahead and define the joins. I'm trying to keep this video as as short as possible so that we can have a quick view on how to create a universe using information banks. Okay, so here's the join and then here. Okay. Let's go ahead and find the cardinalities so I'm just going to detect the cardinalities okay so just detect the cardinalities and the next step is to create the business layer okay so i just go ahead and go to my connection and go to business layer I will select relational data source since I have created the relational connection. So it's next. I will use same name. SQL next. Now it's asking me to choose the data foundation. So this is the one which I just created right behind the window, which is a schema. So I just select OK. Now it's asking me to create classes automatically. So I will just check this box since. Uh, I want it automatically so I just click finish okay so right here we can see that this is the object that we can but we can also create uh, classes manually by adding going here adding to so select dimension my year object and whatever and then we can just select okay so this was a quick overview on how to create the universe in business object 4.0 using information design tool so I just go ahead and run a query so that we can see that the result is coming. So I just select the query and I will just select any object. Okay, order. Okay. Just go ahead. Okay, so I just run this query to see if we have the, you can see the result. Okay, so here we have order ID, the quantity and the product name. So thank you so much folks. Uh, thank you for watching this uh, video. I hope this was really helpful, especially for, for someone who has not yet created a universe on uh, using information design tool. So this was just a quick overview of how to create a universe using the information design tool. Uh, I hope you like it and please feel, feel free to leave your feedback and suggestions.